Thank you for logging on to MonsterGardens.com. Here we have another video from Grow More, and thank you, Jacob, so much. You're one of the few nutrient reps that have come in and have explained in detail every one of the products that they make that we sell. Not many companies that offer that kind of support and really the professional style of doing things that Grow More does. Now we have a representative here with a new product that they're bringing to the market, and it's called Fuego. Fuego was developed as an agriculture product. We have about seven different variants of the Fuego uh, name for agriculture crops as amino acids the building blocks of all protein are essential to plant and fruit and vegetable development and I really wanted to bring the amino acid benefits from a botany world to the hydroponic world what we came up with was fuego and the Mendocino fuego is our hydroponic version of of our amino acid line, which are in Fuego and sold over 35 different countries. The main way that there is an extraction process for amino acids is there's two ways. There's an acid hydrolysis method and there's an enzymatic hydrolysis method, you know, which is far superior to the acid hydrolysis method. Unfortunately, due to the smoke screen that most other companies in the industry put up, we never really get a true answer of the exact extraction process that they have and the way that their aluminos are formed. We use the, the superior form, the enzymatic hydrolysis. I wanted to find out exactly what the concentration of amino acid was in solution. It's typically measured in a grams per ounce. Unfortunately, on every label I looked in the hydro industry that claimed to be an amino acid product, not one claimed a percentage of hydrolyzed protein wow. in their bottle. That's like looking at like a food label and saying, yeah, there's ingredients. This, this is a little bit more of the shotgun approach. Um, at the same time, it's very user friendly. It's able to be used throughout the life cycle of the plant and you should be able to see immediate benefits from it. This product actually has 0.9% nitrogen compared to the much higher nitrogen based amino acid supplements on the market. Mm -hmm. The good part about it also is that the chelating agent of citric acid, and citric acid in general is a weak chelator, but it's used commonly in certain higher end formulations as a buffering agent and an acidifier in a solution. So while it does have chelating properties, we do use it in this form to help keep it organic based as well as to have another chelating agent in the solution besides the amino acids. Yeah, so in regarding to plant production and amino acids in general, you know, I've spoken about this before and it really relates to the microorganisms and the amino acid interaction. So for example, I've considered the amino acids an ionic precursor to something. As you all know, rooting powders and specific solutions have IAA, indole acetic acid, which by itself is a plant growth regulator and a hormone that's regulated by the EPA, etc. Well, it just so happens that tryptophan, when utilized in a nutrient solution and the microorganisms consume that, they actually convert that amino acid into IAA into the root zone. So you're getting a root mass increase in the benefit from the tryptophan specifically. Now each amino has its own specific relationship, like you said, it's either building of a block of a protein or breaking it down, and the relationship is definitely symbiotic for those that have microorganisms. So if you are inoculating or you're using any sort of non-sterile media, which most people in my encounters in gardening today are using of some sort, mm -hmm. this is definitely going to be a benefit for you to create a more natural environment. What about guys running like a rock wall or expanded clay system, like a re recycle, recirculating system, like that will they get a benefit out of If you're running a a, a rock wool or you're running a cocoa top drip system, it's actually going to help your nutrient absorption and I just consider it a plant energy booster. So you're going to pretty much get more out of your existing feed no matter what. The great part is, is using it all throughout the life cycle of it compared to other amino products that want you to use anywhere from 8 to 20 mils per gallon. Oh yeah, gallon. liquid karma. Yeah, 15 or 10 to 20 mils per gallon. Um, yeah. Biohaven even too. I think their oh, wow. this one is, is, well. uh, is 10 to 20 mils per wow. gallon, right? And when you look at the price point in comparison to amino acids, the thing is, is you don't necessarily have to use that much to get the same amino concentration. So when we say there's 0.28 grams per ounce of the aminos in it, and you use about five mils, you're gonna get about a 50 parts per million increase in your feed, so expect that. That's a 0 0.9, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, so the NPK is relatively inert and some of the, the typical amino acid sources that you get have such a high nitrogen, which a lot of people don't want later on in flowering because of other, you know, CalMag products that have a 2% nitrogen or whatnot. So the good no, thing this is- this is actually a one. A you one should get a one on this, so yeah, you wouldn't want to be feeding that too late in the flower. Essentially, the only thing this doesn't have that this does is the penis. Oh, okay. I right, see. it has a little bit that, that gives it the, the, darker, the darker color. Uh, this is gonna be more of a, a lighter vanilla green color. It has a, a sweet odor. It's not so rancid as some of the other 
amino acid products on the market. So House and Garden came out with a product recently and they did a really big launch on it. If you're watching these videos, I'm sure you saw it in the magazine. It's called um, Amino Tree. Amino it's a black bottle. It's one of the price, most pricey bottles that is in their assortment. Um, it used to be the Roots Accelerator, but now it's that. Um, have you done any research to see what the difference is of an amino treatment versus a fuego? Yeah, actually looking at the amino treatment myself, uh, we kind of determined that it's not the full 20 L aminos. There's a special select just like we have in our avalanche and our jumpstart. What I've read from House and Garden, I believe it was around six. Five, six. Five, okay. six, yeah. Um, and it's got silica and humic acid in there as well. That's what they claim, but unfortunately on the label, they don't make any percentages to what source of silica, whether it's coming from a potassium silicon, a monosilicic acid, or there's four different types of silica. So of course, I'm not sure exactly the concentration of it in there. You know, I, I could tell you that there was, based on what label I've seen from other companies, that yeah, there's silicon in here too, there's silica. Mm -hmm. Liquid Karma is gonna be 10 to 20 mils per gallon, uh, where this is only an application rate of four to 10 mils per gallon. This quart will cost you about $100 at an 8 to 20 mil dilution rate. And this quart is $100? Yeah, the gallon's $400. Let's say you use them the low end, 8 mils per gallon. This is a liter, so it's a 100 gallon. 100 gallon. A one reservoir change, you're putting $100 in. How much is this? This is retails for around 30 It's a third of the price, mm -hmm. and you, you get six, six times the use out of it. And so you might be a gardener using Floralicious Plus. We just gave you a great opportunity to try out this product in comparison and get a true amino acid product for your garden. You might be a gardener using a product such as Biohead and you want to save some money. Let's admit it, the cost of uh, a product of produce is going down in some regions and uh, gardeners are looking at better tools at a better price. And we can see a direct comparison here. Um, you might be using Liquid Karma, which again um, is another product that uh, also isn't as transparent and showing you exactly um, what they're supplying um, and at a high application rate in, at that. We have gardeners that move from one nutrient line to the next because they're trying to find the magic formula to get the magic yield. And the truth is, it's not the nutrients. Yield is first genetics. And then there's many other attributes past that before it gets to nutrients. The nutrients is really just your foundation. You need a solid foundation to build a house on. And if you have a great nutrient line, which pretty much Monster Gardens carries all great nutrient lines, you have a solid foundation. It's everything else that's affecting your production and not necessarily the nutrient line if you're following the manufacturer's recommendations. So.